Okay, just a quick video today. So this is to do with the TSWXL slash R1, also known as the Terra Station Duo. Um, if you have one of these devices and um, you found this video, I take it you're in a situation of where the Terra Station Duo is in emergency mode and you have the latest firmware update from Buffalo's website, which at this present moment in time of making this video is version 1.76. And every time you try and flash the firmware onto the Terra station, it's telling you no partitions are available aborting firmware flash process. And you've probably already done some research on the internet and seen that you need to edit the INI file uh, within the firmware flash to change it from a one to a zero where it says no format and you've found that it still isn't working because this is what I have found today and I've spent about six hours today trying to get my Terra station working and finally it is working again in fact let me bring up the manager and I will show you so here we go if I drag this across this screen there we go you can see it's online it's working it's currently in RAID 0, but I'm going to reconfigure it. Um, as you can see, firmware version 1.76. So it was on the latest firmware as of me making this video today. So there is a bug in the latest firmware from Buffalo where for some reason it doesn't detect when you change that 1 to a 0 in the INI file and it just will not format the drives it will say no partition available and if you've hunted the internet you've probably found it's incredibly 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 hard to find earlier firmwares for this thing now your search has come to an end if you found this video because i have managed to get hold of an earlier firmware version this is direct from buffalo america's website Basically, there was no link directly to it on their website, but I found it sat there on their file server where the latest firmware was. So basically, it was in the same place as 1.76, but there was no link to it. So I had to create my own link and download it from there. And I'll show you this. So here it is. It's the 1.74 firmware. It is the official firmware from Buffalo, just the earlier version. I've already edited the INI file for you with everything you could possibly need. So version checking is set to zero, formatting is set to zero, and even special debugging is turned on. So if I run this myself quickly, obviously it requires admin to run. And um, as you can see, if I drag Wait, that shouldn't even be on that screen. Why is it doing that? Uh, okay, that's weird. Whatever. Um, so as you can see, this opens up version 1.74. As you can see, I've already updated to 1.76. Um, debugging is active. So you can go into debug mode and it will come up here. And you can force the update, delete, use, rebuild partition tables, everything like that this version works so you will be able to flash this to your Terra Station Duo or TSW XL R1 um, it will flash the firmware on it will reformat the drives it will put the correct partitions on there for you which will get the Terra Station working at which point you can then download the latest firmware which at the point of making this video is 1.76 and flash that on and then you'll have the latest firmware on there. Um, hopefully, this video and the link I'm going to provide to this file, in fact, just to show you there's no trickery going on right now, as you can see, that's the file. All that's in there is everything that normally comes with a firmware update from Buffalo. I'm just going to right click, I'm going to make the RAR in this video for you. So, add to archive. Yeah. There we 
go that has been made it's put it on my other desktop because i'm doing this video on my second screen because my main desktop is very cluttered and there you go here is the raw file which i have just made for you i'll put this on a mega so you can download it and inside the raw file is the firmware 1.74 which works which will allow you to get the terra station working with your new drives and then you can update the latest firmware thanks for watching fingers crossed i've saved you a lot of headaches and stress